Hello, Saints of Ascension Lutheran Church. This is Pastor Adam Thompson, your new pastor. Uh, and I'm still in the middle of my transition from Ohio to Pittsburgh. And so I thought I'd make a few videos uh, to help you get to know me um, as I make my way over to Pittsburgh. The first video, which I'm videoing today, is going to be focused on me personally, sharing a little bit about my family and my growing up years and how I got to where I am today. And my next video will focus more on my pastoral career and my philosophy for ministry and those sorts of topics. Uh, so stay tuned for that one. But first, me as a person. So I am a middle child. I have a younger brother and an older sister. And I was born into uh, an LCMS pastor's family. So I'm a PK, pastor's kid. Uh, so because my dad was a pastor, we grew up in a couple of different places. I was born in Mankato, Minnesota, uh, where my dad served his first call. And uh, we moved from there when I was three. So pretty much the only thing I remember about Minnesota is there's tons of snow. And from there, we moved to southwest Missouri in a little town called Monette. Um, and we were there for eight years. So from three to 11. So I did a fair amount of growing up there. And my dad took a call in the middle of my sixth grade year to serve at a church in a suburb of St. Louis, Missouri. Um, and he was there for 16 years. So it was in St. Louis where I went to high school. Um, and graduated from Lutheran High School South in 2007, and then went on to go to college at Truman State University. Uh, there I earned my bachelor's degree in philosophy. Uh, so reading a lot of books and writing a lot of papers is a lot of what I've done in school. That's what I did at the seminary as well. Uh, so it's a good thing I like to read. Uh, now my family's a bit scattered about. Uh, my younger brother lives in Chicago with his wife, and they're expecting their first child in March. Uh, and my older sister, she's married as well and lives in Williamsburg, Virginia. Um, and they're expecting their third child this next spring. So a lot of exciting things happening on the family front this year. Uh, and of course, now, of course, I'm moving to Pittsburgh at a new call. So that's exciting as well. Um, what do I do when I'm not being a pastor? I have a few hobbies that I really enjoy, one of which is reading. As I mentioned before, I liked reading, uh, even as a young kid. I really enjoyed fantasy and fiction, um, and I still do, but basically any good book can catch my eye. Uh, games, I love playing games, what, whatever they are. It doesn't matter to me whether it's sports or board games or video games. Basically anything that's competitive, I enjoy uh, playing. Uh, in particular with sports, my favorite sport to play is tennis. So if there are any tennis players uh, at uh, Ascension Lutheran, I'd be happy to play some tennis with you. Uh, and then one of the really interesting things that I've got to do in my life is uh, go study abroad. And I studied abroad through a program at the seminary, actually, uh, at a seminary in Germany for 11 months. Um, so I got to learn theology, but all my classes were in German. Uh, so that was pretty tough at first because I went without really knowing any German. So I learned like on the fly um, and in Germany. Uh, so that was challenging, but it was also a lot of fun. And I made a lot of great friends and memories there and would certainly like to go back someday. And then perhaps the question that a lot of people ask the most is, when did you feel called to go into ministry? Well, my first uh, real encounter with that, obviously my dad was a pastor, but I didn't really start thinking about it for me until high school. Um, I had an opportunity to go with my dad on one of his uh, days where he was visiting his shut-ins, uh, which was a really cool experience. Uh, and I started to Gain an appreciation for the work that my dad did. Uh, and then sort of slowly over time, I was encouraged by numerous people and started thinking about it in college. And probably my sophomore year of college is when I really decided uh, to answer the call that the Lord was placing in front of me to go into ministry. Um, so it wasn't like I knew when I was six. Some guys have those really crazy stories where they know when they were six years old, they see their pastor and they think, I want to do that. Uh, but for me, it was it was more gradual process of the word working on my heart and the encouragement of, of fellow believers and uh, and the Lord working uh, in my heart as well. So that's a little bit about me. I'm looking forward so much to meeting all of you in person and to work together uh, in the Lord's church and serve in his uh, ministry and sharing his gospel with those that we encounter in our lives. And I'm looking forward to working on that with all of you. Uh, so stay tuned for the next video where I talk a little bit more about myself as a pastor and my philosophies of ministry uh, and what I'm really looking forward to doing with you 
going forward. God bless, and I'll see you soon.